We're already in the throes of the second wave of this pandemic, but there's still much to learn about the novel coronavirus. In our Q&A session with Toronto's Associate Medical Officer of Health this week, one of our viewers wanted to know how it's possible that one of their family members, who they've had close contact with, tested positive for COVID-19, but no one else in the household caught the virus. I mean, we don't we don't always know why some people can spread it to others and other others can't. You've heard of those super spreader events, and we think some of the super spreader events are the person even a, a day or two before their symptoms started, so they couldn't take precautions. They may even be the most infectious at that time, and so it may have been when the person in your household was the most infectious, you were not around them. It could have been that you were following precautions in your own home, washing your hands, and some people are also talking about an infection. Dose. And we know this is the case for some other contagious diseases where you may be positive, but you may not have enough of the virus to actually uh, consistently spread it to others. And so that might also be playing, playing a role here. Okay, that's really interesting, though. So you can be um, contagious and still might not be able to actually pass it on effectively to other people. Exactly. And some people might spread it to many people. Some people might not spread it to as many people. This is all the stuff that we need to keep researching to be able to understand because we want the person who's not able to spread it to others. And I think one thing that you should see is, was it based on your practices in your home that you were able to help prevent it? The other thing to note is sometimes when you get a positive, especially in someone who doesn't have symptoms, they actually could have had the infection previously and were contagious uh, previously. So that sometimes is also the case. And uh, we can do further testing to see if we can figure out whether that might be the case as well. This week's interactive Q&A also covered how long you remain contagious and lesser known symptoms of COVID-19. You can watch the full chat on our websites citynews.ca and 680news.com. To go to the page directly, point your phone camera to the code on the screen you see right now and follow the link that pops up. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.